Hello again, everyone. Welcome to our daily devotion for Thursday, May 19th, 2022. Thank you so much for spending this time with me in God's word today, as together we grow in our faith and in our knowledge of Jesus Christ as our Savior. Today we read Deuteronomy chapter 24, and in this chapter, the Lord lays out some regulations concerning marriage and divorce, uh, some regulations that are meant to safeguard life, and also some regulations that deal with consideration for those who are in need. If a man marries a woman, but she becomes displeasing to him because he finds something indecent about her, he may write her a divorce certificate, hand it to her, and send her away from his house. If, after leaving his house, she goes and becomes another man's wife, and the second man hates her, writes her a divorce certificate, hands it to her, and sends her away from his house, or if he dies, the first husband who sent her away may not marry her again after she has been defiled, because that would be detestable to the Lord. You must not bring guilt on the land the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance. When a man takes a bride, he must not go out with the army or be liable for any duty. He is free to stay at home for one year so that he can bring joy to the wife he has married. Do not take a pair of grindstones or even the upper millstone as a security for a debt because that is like taking a life as security. If a man is discovered kidnapping one of his Israelite brothers, whether he treats him as a slave or sells him, the kidnapper must die. You must purge the evil from you. Be careful with a person who has a case of serious skin disease, following carefully everything the Levitical priests instruct you to do. Be careful to do as I have commanded them. Remember what the Lord your God did to Miriam on the journey after you left Egypt. When you make a loan of any kind to your neighbor, do not enter his house to collect what he offers as security. Stand outside while the man you are making the loan to brings the security out to you. If he is a poor man, do not sleep with the garment he has given as security. Be sure to return it to him at sunset. Then he will sleep in it and bless you and this will be counted as righteousness to you before the Lord your God. Do not oppress a hired worker who is poor and needy, whether one of your Israelite brothers or one of the resident aliens in the town in your land. You are to pay him his wages each day before the sun sets, because he is poor and depends on them. Otherwise, he will cry out to the Lord against you, and you will be held guilty. Fathers are not to be put to death for their children and children are not to be put to death for their fathers. Each person will be put to death for his own sin. Do not deny justice to a resident alien or a fatherless child, and do not take a widow's garment as security. Remember that you were a slave in Egypt, and the Lord your God redeemed you from there. Therefore, I am commanding you to do this. When you reap the harvest in your field and you forget a sheaf in the field, do not go back to get it. It is to be left for the resident alien, the fatherless, and the widow, so that the Lord your God may bless you in all the work of your hands. When you knock down the fruit from your olive tree, do not go over the branches again. What remains will be for the resident alien, the fatherless, and the widow. When you gather the grapes of your vineyard, do not glean what is left. What remains will be for the resident alien, the fatherless, and the widow. Remember that you were a slave in the land of Egypt. Therefore, I am commanding you to do this. We again read two Psalms today. This time we'll be reading Psalms 114 and 115. In Psalm 114, we uh, praise God for his deliverance of Israel. And then in Psalm 115, we recognize that all glory and uh, all credit for what God has done for us belongs entirely to God alone. Psalm 114. When Israel came out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people who spoke a foreign language, 
Judah became his sanctuary, Israel his dominion. The sea looked and fled, the Jordan turned back, the mountains skipped like rams, the hills like lambs. Why was it, sea, that you fled, Jordan that you turned back, mountains that you skipped like rams, hills like lambs? Tremble, earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turned the rock into a pool, the flint into a spring. Psalm 115. Not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory, because of your faithful love, because of your truth. Why should the nations say, where is their God? Our God is in heaven and does whatever he pleases. Their idols are silver and gold made by human hands. They have mouths but cannot speak, eyes but cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear, noses but cannot smell. They have hands but cannot feel, feet but cannot walk. They cannot make a sound with their throats. Those who make them are just like them, as are all who trust in them. Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. House of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. The Lord remembers us and will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, small and great alike. May the Lord add to your numbers, both yours and your children's. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The heavens are the Lord's, but the earth he has given to the human race. It is not the dead who praise the Lord, nor any of those descending into the silence of death. But we will bless the Lord, both now and forever. Hallelujah. And the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you so much for spending this time with me in God's word today. May the Lord richly bless your day. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.